I remember June 8, 1972. I saw the airplane, and it's so loud, so close to me. Suddenly, the fire everywhere around me. The fire burned off my clothes, and I saw my arm got burned with the fire. I thought, oh my goodness, I get burned. People will see me different way. Nine years old, I became a victim of war. I didn't like that picture at all. I felt like, why he took my picture when I was agony, naked, so ugly. I wish that picture wasn't taken. I went through 17 operations. I have to deal with the pain every single day. I used to compare my scars with buffalo skin. And because my skin doesn't have any pores, I cannot sweat. Make me feel so tired, so headache. It built me up with hatred, bitterness, and anger. I just living with the question, why me? Why that happened to me? In 1982, I wanted to take my life because I thought after I die, no more suffer, no more pain. Eventually, I found the New Testament in the library in Saigon. In Christmas 1982, I became a Christian. That faith it helped me a lot. Since I have faith, my enemies list became my prayer list. I realized myself, wow, Kim, you pray for your enemies. It means you love. Forgiveness set my heart free. I forgive everyone who caused my suffering, even the pilot, commander, people controlling me. When I became mother, I have full time to take care of my baby. I just slowly, slowly tell him, why mommy has a scar. I have to show him my picture. He touch my arm and he say, mom, hurt, and he kiss here. He kiss me right here. My work with the children who has trauma, like me, I know how they have pain. And not only the pain with physical, but nightmare and trauma times. Most of them, they just ask me, why you are naked? Why are you crying? And I say, yes, because the bomb dropped and I got burned. I also show them my scar on my back. And they say, oh, it's so painful. I don't want that you suffer that much. And they love me and they kiss my scar. All my journey, I help children building school, building hospital, orphanage home. It's about relationship. Now I'm working, not because of my duty, not because of my mission, but because of my love. What do you see when you look at that photo of the girl in the picture? Now I can see the picture. I'm so thankful. My name is Kim Phuc Phan Thi. This is my brief but spectacular take on pain and forgiveness.